What up, what up, it's your boy Dan's and what's up Dan's crew? We are back with another video and today we'll be reacting to Jack Frags, one of the legends himself. He is the guy. I've been following this guy since before he had a million subscribers, which is pretty cool uh, to know that because dude's at 4 million subscribers now. So <laughs> he's a super popular guy for a reason. He's great with content and he always gives you quality stuff. And it's like he, he never gets old because he's, he's still really good at video games. And I know he's older than me. I know he is. I know he is. But, <laughs> but he's, he's just talented. But yeah, man, today we'll be reacting to Modern Warfare 3 gameplay details and info. I saw the trailer yesterday uh, or the day before. I don't remember before I actually started doing the reactions on this channel. So we're not going to really get into that. I don't like reacting to stuff I already seen. So here we are. Let's get it. It's just been revealed with the trailer that mostly had single player stuff in, but there was also a massive blog that went out detailing a ton of multiplayer information. And there's a lot of changes mechanically speaking from Modern Warfare 19 and Modern Warfare 2. I'm quite surprised with how much of a 180 they've taken with this. It seems like a stark contrast to Modern Warfare 2. Some really interesting stuff here and also the return of zombies, which I know a lot of people are going to be excited for. So we're going to I actually recently asked about that. I'm not a big zombies guy, but I've also like, you know, just was like, where are they? You know, because sometimes you just want to do something different. Jump in. Here's everything you need to know about Modern Warfare 3. Drop a like below if you enjoyed the vid. Let's do this. We're going to start with the multiplayer because I feel like that's what most people watching this are going to be interested in. All 16 launch maps from the original Modern Warfare 2 from 2009 will be in Modern Warfare 3 at launch. They've all been modernized both graphically and from a gameplay perspective. Call of Duty said prepare for seminal design to meet modern gameplay. The faithful modernization of the maps keeps their authenticity intact while infusing the latest tech, gameplay modes, content and more. In terms of the okay. gameplay, Call of Duty are calling this game the return of classic COD gameplay and we'll get into that now. So features that are coming back, map voting. Players will be able to vote what map to play next. Finally, finally bro, finally, finally. The Rock has come now. Nah, about time, man. This is that's that's that was like bread and butter. That was like one of the best things about Kyle, like being able to vote on the map you want to play. Next in their multiplayer lobbies, we're gonna have classic minimap behavior with red dots indicating when an enemy is firing an unsuppressed weapon. Suppressors are gonna be pretty meta then, unless they've got big downsides. All of your perks are gonna be chosen and available at the start of each match. Big difference over how it works in Modern Warfare 2. The covert sneakers perk would allow for silent movement, assuming that you've chosen the correct footwear. So I think that's the ninja ninja's perk. back. The core multiplayer health will be increased to 150. Yay! Back to long t longer TTK. I am an advocate of longer TTK because I have older hands. So you know, give me a chance to get you that brawl back, not the quick. <laughs> I uh, hit you in the corner before you got a chance. You don't get the chance to fight back. No, 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 no. Let me fight back. It's arcade. Let me let me be arcadey, okay? Lengthening the time to kill. Many I grew up on Halo. People are going to welcome that because it's going to be more about outplay and movement than just holding angles and positions. Kind of like how Classic COD used to be, to be fair. And in regards to movement, they've made it a lot more responsive. You can cancel slide animations, but slide canceling does not reset tactical sprint. So this is what I thought was going to happen. So you can do one slide cancel, but then you've got to wait for your tactical sprint to reset. So it won't be as crazy as it was in MW19 and Verdansk, but you'll be able to divert your movement and speed a little more quicker than you can in Warzone 2. You can cancel partial reloads during an animation. That means reload canceling is back. Gonna have to Good. train my brain to do that one, to be fair. Absolutely. Mantling is faster and you can mantle while sprinting. So getting over obstacles can be a bit quicker. You can fire during and immediately after sliding. Tactical sprint durations are increased. And it says in parentheses here, the exact duration depends on the weapon being used. So mm. if you've got an SMG, your tactical sprint will be longer. If you've got an LMG, it's going to be shorter. And then finally, tactical sprint recharges while sprinting. So you don't have to stop to get your tactical sprint back. You don't have to slide cancel to get it back. All of these mechanics will be crossing over to the new Warzone update to when the game goes live. The so Warzone is going to feel quite different when this all changes. No mention of DMZ at all. So DMZ might be chalked. I'm guessing... Delete it anyways, it's trash. I think it'll still be playable, but I don't know if they're going to make any kind of big commitment to nobody. It. Nobody wants to unlock guns through DMZ. It's trash. The game mode is trashed. I don't care about playing against NPCs. I want to play people. That's what I like. That's what we came here for. We came to fight other people. 
NPCs. Or producing new content for it. We'll have to see. There's a new zombies experience that they're calling an open... Unless we're talking zombies. ...world. And it says here, for the first time, team up with other squads to survive and fight massive hordes of the undead in the largest Call of Duty Zombies map ever. Modern Warfare Zombies tells an involved and unearthly Dark Aether zombie story set in the Modern Warfare universe. Expect to undertake missions across different regions that escalate in difficulty, with core zombies features and a cavalcade of secrets to discover. Ready up for an open world PvE extraction survival experience against some of the biggest enemies in Call of Duty history. So some people actually went over to Sledgehammer Games last week and saw some of this apparently, and they're saying that it's kind of a mix of DMZ zombies and do you remember that? open world zombies mode from cold war that they had was it called outbreak i think it was called outbreak please correct me if i'm wrong so on top of the 16 remade maps from modern warfare 2 call of duty committed to 12 all new core 6v6 maps post launch in the live seasons so it doesn't look like we're actually getting any new maps at launch which i think is kind of weird but that's what they've gone for they all that's kind of lazy i'm not gonna lie it's lazy as hell also talked about three new gameplay innovations the first one is called the tax stance Reach and clear with the new tactical stance feature, a perfect middle ground between hip fire and aiming down the sights. So this is a hallmark of some tactical shooters out there. It's in between ADS and hip fire. I think they call it point shooting. And if you've seen any of the John Wick movies, he does that a lot. When entering tight hallways and cramped rooms, toggle tack stance on to improve weapon performance and win the fight. Here's what to expect. The operator unshoulders the weapon and holds it in a canted firing position. You can toggle in and out of tack stance dynamically while aiming down the sights. Tax stance trades precision accuracy for improved mobility and handling. Some spread to your firing will occur, best described as a middle ground between full ADS and hip fire. It's designed to be used in aggressive close quarter combat situations. By default, you're in tax stance while sliding. The next gameplay innovation they say is for loadouts. Modern Warfare 3 brings new levels of customization to create a class. Get ready to build your loadout based on cutting edge military equipment such as gloves, tactical vests, boots and more allowing you to fine tune more aspects of gameplay so some people were saying that this military equipment is essentially replacing your perks so instead of picking just perks which are passive things that are on your character you will actually pick a piece of tactical gear that is a perk if you get what i mean so that's going to change the way you look i suppose in the game and then huh. the third innovation they're claiming is aftermarket parts. The evolution of the gunsmith continues with the addition of aftermarket parts. This is a special set of customization options, allowing you to focus on your preferred and specific playstyle. Aftermarket parts enable you to construct unique weapon configurations or types, such as customizing a machine gun into a bullpup configuration, in parentheses with the firing grip in front of the breech rather than behind it, thus increasing mobility and handling without compromising on damage output. Aftermarket parts will also offer new progression paths and challenges to unlock and they'll be sharing more info about that soon so it looks like there's going to be another level to gunsmith where you can reconfigure certain weapons so they handle completely differently it's going to get pretty crazy because as we mentioned in the previous video all of the weapons from modern warfare 2 are going to be in modern warfare 3 and they will keep the progression that you've got in mw2 as well so there's going to be so many guns in this game i don't know how they're going to balance it that's going to be an absolute nightmare for them also it's going to be more difficult for them to make each weapon or each new weapon feel distinct but at least there's going to be a lot of choice other multiplayer bits they mentioned there's a brand new mode called cutthroat which i'm kind of interested in it's a competitive 3v3v3 experience no more details than that but maybe an evolution of gunfight there's going to be new big maps too. Ground War is coming back along with War Mode. You guys remember War Mode from World War II. I really enjoyed that mode, but they never did any DLC for it. I think they added like one more War Map. But that's coming to Modern Warfare 3. If you didn't play it in World War II and you're an old gamer like I am, it's reminiscent to Assault from Unreal Tournament where you go through different objectives. One team attacks, one team defends. It's really cool. Invasion's coming back to Ground War as we just mentioned. And also in the trailer, of course, there are lots of locations here that look like they're from the first Warzone map, Verdansk. Now, I don't know if Verdansk is going to come back. All signs point to the new Warzone map in November, potentially being Las Almas, which is the one set in Mexico. But in the trailer, we saw Stadium. We saw the Gulag. The Gulag was originally a single player mission from the original Modern Warfare trilogy, though. So it could just be a reference to that. But there's water around it. I think there's a shot of the dam as well at 1.2. So they... I'd be 100% okay with Verdansk coming back. Teasing it, it could just be for the single player and they've done a cheap asset flip and they know that it is nostalgic for a lot of people. 
but maybe at launch too because in the zombie screen chart that looks like the burger joint which is kind of near downtown so maybe it's coming back i mean there's another possibility too some people think perhaps that they might release <coughs> verdansk as an option maybe march next year launch with las almas in november this year march drop a remastered remade verdansk because of course it got nuked at the end of warzone one life so who knows what they're doing with that i mean they're definitely teasing it and of course the single player that's a direct back-to-back -back sequel to modern warfare 2 makarov's involved now looks like the stakes are going to be higher graphics look insane and i'm sure it'll be your typical call of duty campaign and with that said i think that is about all of the new information about gameplay that was released today like i said there are some people that went out to sledgehammer games that played it like jay god swag for example they've done videos so if you want actual hands-on impressions go watch those guys videos because i'm just basing this off what we've seen in the trailer and the information that was released in the vlog so they'll have a much better idea of how the game actually plays and with that said guys let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on modern warfare 3 how are you feeling about this one definitely going back towards that more arcadey cod style gameplay away from the slower tactical gameplay that we had mw3 kind of feels like the antithesis of modern warfare 2 be interesting to see how that goes down drop me a like below subscribe if you're new and i'll see you next time Bye bye all right what you guys think about that uh <laughs> personally i like the idea of adding the old maps but i also hate the idea that you're not dropping new maps at the start like you gotta have something new like something come on man it's lazy just lazy other than that though i do like the idea of bringing verdance back uh, i don't know how much you guys like verdance verdance is the first war zone map i'd happily take it back happily because I really don't even play Warzone 2 that much. But yeah, uh, you guys let me know what you think about this uh, new Modern Warfare 3 and all the details that we've gotten in that video. Other than that, you guys comment, like, subscribe, and we are out this beep. Peace.